Hello and welcome to Bowler CBT Labs. My name is Matt Bowler and in this lab we will be taking a look at the Cisco IOS Easy VPN technology and utilizing that through the Cisco VPN client. This type of setup is great for remote users. If you are running in an enterprise environment and you have uh, perhaps developers or a group of people who need to access internal network resources remotely from home or another office you can relatively easy and pretty quickly set up a VPN server on your Cisco router uh, or ASA uh, depending on the equipment that you have this particular case we are running a 7200 series Cisco router uh, with one of the, the newer iOS versions and we're utilizing the Cisco VPN client in order to connect as a remote client. So we will be simulating essentially uh, this cloud which is my laptop which I will be connecting into this uh, router right over here, the VPN server router, and we will be also simulating what would be or what could be the interwebs. Uh, it's just a one hop in this particular simulation, but it's showing uh, kind of a untrust to trust connection here where our VPN client will go through the interwebs router over to our VPN server router successfully build the connection, receive an IP address within the 172.16.1.10 through 20 range, and then have access to internal resources. And uh, we will test that by pinging from the client over to the 172.16.1.1, which is the fast ethernet interface on the inside of our VPN server router. To begin with the configuration we will have several segments of uh, configuration and really we'll be utilizing uh, most for the most part here technologies and uh, things that we've gone through if you have been following along in this series as we make a progression through the, the VPN track uh, portion of the CCNP security secure exam that is the 642637 exam number and what Cisco has done here is essentially hit on several technologies that can be utilized through the iOS on the routers and switches and as I mentioned before we are on a 7200 series router here so to begin we will be configuring uh, client authentication using the local database we will start off on our VPN server or our router and configure a username of Matt with the privilege level of zero and the password of Matt just to keep it simple Next, we'll go ahead and enable AAA. And for this particular setup, we will need to configure two lists here within AAA. One.